Hi folks and welcome to the preview show for Cheltenham. We are back in Gloucestershire for three shows, Saturday 12pm and 4pm and Sunday at 12pm, the final rounds of the Live Tour 2022 and I'm joined as always by our Live Tour host and director of Extreme Robots, Chris Wilkins. Chris, I am delighted to be here in my spiritual home of the West Country. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Accent's gone though. Oh, thanks mate. <laughs> so we're here in Gloucester for this weekend and we have got, well... The team competition, it's still here, but it's safe to say there's only going to be one winner well, this year. Well, it's a bit like Haaland's suddenly trying to chase him for the golden boot at the moment, <laughs> isn't it? It's a bit like that with Michael. So I think that although Michael has had a fantastic run and indeed Team Inferno look poised to take home the prize money for 2022... Michael's going to have more on his mind this weekend, isn't he, Chris? He is. He likes to make a difficult uh, situation for himself worse. Um, he's been sort of poking the bear a little bit with me. I sort of gave him a challenge, and he decided to take it one step further. So I'm, I'm throwing the kitchen sink at him this weekend. And if he comes out on top, I've got a lot of thinking over the winter to do to, to find a challenge for him. Yeah, so Michael Oates, the current Extreme Robots heavyweight champion, will be facing a match that or a battle of sorts that we've never had here at Extreme Robots before. We haven't. It's a new one for us. I'm still trying to work out how we're going to get through it, but we're going to certainly try. Yeah, I'm really excited by it. So uh, for those that don't know, we are having a... It's effectively a, a four-way match, but it's going to be very, very different this time. It's a five-minute uh, endurance match, which is a long time for a robot because of the charging issues, the, the 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 gas that they use, obviously having enough on board, a bit like a you know a Formula One car with the amount of fuel that they're running. So the way this is going to work is... Michael's going to enter as the champion. Then a robot's going to enter. It mm -hmm. could be either Ripper, it could be Iron Ore, or it could be Manta. They're going to fight for 90 seconds. Assuming they're still both in the arena, another robot's going to enter and join them. Another 90 seconds later, another robot's going to join. Now, the only way Michael can win is by surviving five minutes. If any of them throw him out of the arena, or he doesn't last five minutes, mm -hmm. he will lose his title, and those three robots will challenge for the title between them. Right, so this is interesting. So essentially, Michael has to get past. Is there a... S now, forgive me here, being that I'm not a robot here, but wouldn't it be essential, almost, for the three opponents, no matter where they come in, to double up, triple up, to bully Michael out of the game. If it was me, I would just race around the arena for 90 seconds trying to avoid him <laughs> until you get all three in and then just... I mean, effectively, you'd have about a minute and a half still to go where mm -hmm. you can just spend that time trying to get him out. I cannot see how he can hold off three robots. Right. That would be my tactic because if they win, they're all going to get a chance to go for the title between them. So that would be mine. But, you know, sometimes egos get in the way and they want to be the one that throws them out. And if they make one mistake, he will launch them out very quickly. No, make, no, you know, no doubt about that. Yeah, well, after this title match, we could find ourselves with the first ever vacant Extreme Robots Heavyweight Championship until we find a winner from the other three. But that's not all, of course, that's happening this weekend. We have the team competition. We have the, the title matches. But, um, well, actually, let's go back. Let's go back to the last couple of weeks. Because if you've been following us on social media, you will know, of course, about our partnership with Magic the Gathering, the world's largest card-based trading game. So it's absolutely incredible. Wizard, wizards have been incredible with us. Magic have been incredible. And let's take a look at just what... Extreme Robots got up to in partnership with Magic the Gathering. So there's just a glimpse into what we got up with Magic the Gathering over the last few weeks. And if you want to see that whole video, you can go to their YouTube page and watch the full video there of how we got on with Magic the Gathering in the Extreme Arena. But in the meantime, of course, we've got Cheltenham coming up and, well, we've got a few exclusives. And let's be honest, I'm with the man to give you exclusives. So, Chris, what have we got coming up in 2023? Well, I'm delighted to say we will be expanding the team competition. Now... It's being kept under wraps, but I got an email through saying we're coming for 2023. So we're going to have to keep an eye out and see what that is. So it'll be a move to four teams, potentially, in 2023. And not just that, I believe there's a little bit more news as well. That there is a lot more news to come, but the first thing I will say is we're going to have more venues next year. Not announced yet, but we will be expanding our range of venues across yeah. the, the year. So there'll be more chances to win, more chances to see us, more chances to cheer your teams on. And... 
we like to mix things up. It is the extreme arena, of course. So all I'm going to say at this point is look out for the fire pit. Well, we were talking about it earlier on in the year. I believe fire was mentioned, but in 2023, things are going to really heat up here at Extreme Robots. More venues, a more extreme arena, and more to come. And for you guys in Cheltenham, we're heading along tomorrow. Remember, just going to say this once, Cheltenham races happening the same day. Leave early. 20. So from myself and from Chris, thank you very much for supporting us in 20. 22. We shall see you tomorrow if you're in Cheltenham, and if not, we'll see you on the road.